particular ideas about happiness will make you miserable if you actually hold on to them too tightly, believe them too much, or let them dictate how you live your life. And there are three big happiness myths in particular that create this happiness trap. The first is the idea that happiness is the natural state for human beings. You know, if you give human beings food, water, shelter, and loving relationships, they're just gonna naturally be happy. You've probably heard this myth in many, many forms. The reality is that the normal state for a human being is an ever-changing flow of emotions. Uh, emotions are like the weather, continually changing. Uh, you, you wouldn't say the natural state for the weather is a warm spring, sunny afternoon. It's natural in winter that it's going to be colder, in summer it's going to be hotter. Uh, and so it is with our emotions. You expect to feel anxious in challenging situations with an uncertain outcome. You expect to feel fear when there's danger or threat present. Now, the second big happiness myth links to the first one, the idea that happiness means feeling good. If you look at most dictionary definitions of happiness, it's described as a state of pleasure or a state of contentment. Well, if this is your notion of happiness, then there's no such thing as lasting happiness. Because how long does a good feeling last? Think of the happiest day of your life. How long did a state of pleasure or contentment last before there was some frustration, disappointment, anxiety, irritation? If I were to define the word happiness, I would describe it as living a rich, full and meaningful life in which we feel the full range of human emotions. The things that make life rich, full and meaningful don't just give us pleasant feelings. Like, think about building loving relationships. Think about people that you love and care about and you spend a long time with. Do you have a relationship like that in your life that only gives rise to pleasant feelings? When relationships are going well, there's often wonderful feelings of love and joy, but all relationships come with tension and conflict and difficulty. If you're a parent, if you have children, then you know that having kids brings a huge amount of meaning and purpose and fulfillment into your life. But what other feelings does it give you? Now, when I ask this question to audiences at my public workshops, there's a big laugh, and then parents start calling out anxiety, guilt, frustration, anger, rage. You know, it's like amazing how these people that we love so much can arouse such strong, painful emotions in us. So uh, this holds true for really any meaningful life project, from building a career, from looking after your body, from building a family. Uh, the things that make life rich, full and meaningful give you plenty of painful emotions, as well as some very pleasant ones. And the third big myth that feeds into the other two is the idea if you're not happy, you're defective. More and more, human nature is being pathologized as signs there's something wrong with you and you need some medication to fix it. The reality is that if you're not happy, you're normal. Life is difficult. You know, I, I ask my public workshops, is there anybody here who thinks life is too easy, that needs some more difficulty in their life? Anybody in this room that, that needs some more pain and suffering? You know, life is hard and challenging. Not always, but a lot of the time it is.